Now, for the past week, I've been using this. This is the Lenovo ThinkPad T490. Lenovo was kind enough to send it over for me to take a look at, and I'm glad they did. It has a really beautiful display. In fact, it's the same display as the Lenovo ThinkPad X1 Carbon. It's that 2K HDR Dolby Vision display. And when I tell you it's gorgeous, it is. It's got some very good performance out of that Whiskey Lake processor. It's the Core i7-8565U. It's got some fast SSD in this. And of course, it's got some pretty nice specs, including the durability we've come to know with the Lenovo ThinkPad line. It also has that legendary ThinkPad keyboard and the track point. Hey everybody, it's Andrew, and this is my review of the Lenovo ThinkPad T490. Coming up. Now, before we begin in the interest of transparency and full disclosure, Lenovo sent this over for my unbiased opinion. I'm not being paid by Lenovo. I'm not being sponsored by Lenovo. All the opinions you're about to hear are my own and no one is seeing this video before its release. And the review unit is on loan from Lenovo. Once this review is done, I will be sending it back to Lenovo. Now, before we unbox this bad boy, here's a quick rundown of the specs. What you're looking at is a 14-inch WQHD Dolby Vision display. It is simply stunning. It's also powered by the Intel Whiskey Lake processor. You could also get it with up to 48 gigabytes of DDR4 RAM, up to one terabyte of PCIe SSD storage. Optional GPU is the NVIDIA GeForce MX250, and it also has a 50-watt-hour battery. We'll go over the battery life, of course, and it has Dolby Audio Premium Speed. Speakers. It's got a very affordable starting price of $9.99 with availability in June, so this should be available by the time this video goes live. And a quick check over at Lenovo's website shows there's really great savings going on with a sale, really steep discounts, all the links in the video description below, of course. But of course, that's enough with the specs. Let's find out what you get inside the box. Let's open it up. Okay, inside the box is your 65 watt power adapter. It's a USB-C adapter. You also get your setup guide and some warranty information as well. Now, the first thing you'll notice, of course, is that matte black finish we've come to know with the ThinkPad line. Now, keep in mind, it is a major fingerprint magnet. You will be wiping it down. But having said that, when it is clean, it is pretty gorgeous, in my opinion. I actually like that stealth look. Now, as far as the military standard grade testing it underwent, of course, it will be very durable and rock solid, as we've come to know with the ThinkPad line. It has that aluminum magnesium alloy exterior that really will take a beating and keep on ticking. That's for sure. Now on the left side is USB-C 3.1 port, a Thunderbolt 3 port that supports two lanes, not four lanes. You get a USB-A port, you get an HDMI 1.4, 3.5mm headset jack, and a micro SD card slot. Moving over to the right side is a smart card reader, which is optional, USB-A port, and the e Ethernet jack. And on the back is where the SIM tray would be for the optional LTE. To me, the star of the show has to be its gorgeous WQHD HDR Dolby Vision display. This is the top of the line option when it comes to the display. Now there are other options. There's an entry level 720p option. That's the one IT departments usually buy in bulk. That's the one I think consumers don't really want. This is the one I think people want. This is the brightest out of all the options. And I think this is the most vibrant. And of course it is simply spectacular. And I love the fact that this is a very bright display coming in at 475 nits, making this an excellent choice for both indoor and outdoor use. I like that. And it covers the color gamut extremely well, 100% sRGB and 100% Adobe RGB, making this an excellent choice for those creative professionals that do Lightroom, Photoshop, and of course video editing. It's got some really deep black, some very vibrant colors. This is a spectacular display. Everything seems to pop. It is simply stunning. Now, one thing you will notice, it is a glossy display, so you will notice the reflections, as you see here. Now, to upgrade to this Dolby Vision display, this WQHD resolution, you're going to pay a premium. It's $191, and to me, that is a no-brainer. Go with it. It's absolutely worth it. Watching Netflix and YouTube with its high dynamic range on this is fantastic.
Now, when it comes to performance, the Lenovo ThinkPad T490 really doesn't disappoint. It actually does very well. That's thanks to that Core i7-8565U. That's a Whiskey Lake processor, a quad-core processor with 16 gigabytes of DDR4 RAM. It definitely is a great productivity machine, definitely can get work done like Microsoft Office, email, great multimedia machine to watch Netflix, YouTube, and the like. But if you want to game on this, this is really not a gaming laptop, although you can opt to get a the optional MX250 GPU which will give you a little bit more horsepower to do things such as video editing and the like. However, this definitely can game if you turn down some of the settings on the older titles, but the newer AAA titles really don't run very well on this. Again, that's because of the lack of a GPU, unless, of course, you do go for that MX250. Now, if you want to connect to an external GPU, you can, although that Thunderbolt 3 port is limited to two lanes, not the four lanes we'd like to see. So that's something to keep in mind as well. And also going that route, you're also going to add to the total cost of the unit. But for everyday use, this is definitely a powerhouse. This is definitely good for everything you need to do with it. Again, if you want to get a little bit more horsepower, look to that MX250 option when checking out. Now, when it comes to the thermals, when you're doing everyday tasks, it stayed relatively cool, didn't get overly hot. But when you did put it under heavy load, heavy stress, it did start to get warm. And you will notice the fan will kick in, although it wasn't overly loud, wasn't annoying, and that was good. Now, to access the inside of this laptop, let's loosen the captive Phillips head screws and then pry it open with a guitar pick. It wasn't that easy, but once open, you can obviously see what's upgradable. Now, the RAM is upgradable. There's an 8GB RAM slot that you can, in addition, add another 40 gigabytes of RAM for a total of 48. So that's good. You can upgrade that, although the last model allowed you to get up to 64 gigabytes of RAM. You can't do that on this model. The SSD is upgradable, although you do get some really good reads and writes. In fact, they're excellent. Check out these reads. Results. And the Wi-Fi card is also soldered on, so you won't be able to upgrade that, although you did get some really good range, good downloads and upload speeds as well. Now, while inside, you'll notice the 50 watt hour battery. Gone are the days of the modular battery. They did away with that in lieu of a slimmer, thinner design. They also did away with the hard disk drive option. I know some people wanted that extra storage. You don't get it with this model. Now, I'm just curious to know what you think about their decision to do away with the swappable battery and, of course, the hard disk option. Now, when it comes to the keyboard, I absolutely love it. And that's not a surprise because the ThinkPads have been known to have some legendary keyboard status, and this is no exception. This is really excellent for extended periods of time, good tactile feedback, and it had good key travel. Now, I also love the fact that it has a multi-stage backlight. This will allow you to get work done in a dark room or a dimly lit environment. And that, to me, is always good. Now, when it comes to the touchpad, everything worked really well, very responsive, uses precision drivers, which I absolutely love. Everything seemed to be very smooth. Two-finger scrolling was buttery smooth, in fact, and all your Windows 10 gestures work as advertised. But one of the things that I really love is the track point. It works really well, very good for navigating through the OS, and it was very responsive. Again, I love the track point. I've loved it in other ThinkPads, and this is no exception. And I love the fact that the screen folds all the way back as you see here. That kind of hinge gives you the perfect viewing angle, and that's always good. The T490 is the first in the ThinkPad T-Series to have top-facing speakers. Normally, they're on the bottom, and I would actually say they're pretty good. They get pretty loud, and there is a hint of bass. So overall, I would say the sound is pretty good. The T490 has a front-facing camera that's an infrared camera which allows you to use Windows Hello for login. It worked well recognizing my face pretty much every time I used it to log in. Now it also has a Think Shutter switch which will allow you to turn off the webcam. That'll give you more security and more privacy, although it won't turn off the microphone, so please bear that in mind. But overall, this is a pretty good webcam in terms of quality, in terms of doing Skype video conferencing. It will definitely get the job done. I'm curious to know what you think. Let me know in the comments section below below. And there's also a fingerprint scanner located below the keyboard on the right side next to the trackpad which allows you to use Windows Hello for login as well, registering my finger pretty much every time I used it. 
The T490 sports a 50 watt hour battery and Lenovo claims up to 16 hours of estimated battery out of this, but of course that's not real world usage. In my continuous web surfing test over Wi-Fi at 150 nits, it did 7 hours and 10 minutes, and considering that high resolution 2K HDR display, it's not too bad, although I'd like to see 8 hours. Of course, if you do need to plug in, they do supply you with a 65 watt power adapter and it takes just under 2 hours for a full charge, which is actually pretty decent. So to wrap it all up, can I recommend the all new ThinkPad T490? And the answer is absolutely. Love its gorgeous WQHD HDR Dolby Vision display. It is simply stunning. It's got a really good price to performance ratio, dedicated GPU option, the MX250. That's always good to see. Thinner and lighter design, which of course is always very durable in the ThinkPad line. This is no exception. Of course, the negatives here, no more modular battery, no more hard disk option. For some, that might be a deal breaker, but not for me. Average battery life may hold some back on this, although you do get some very fast charging times with the Supply 65 watt power adapter and it's a major fingerprint magnet. I'm going to give it a score of 91% making the ThinkPad T490 worth your money. So what do you think about the Lenovo ThinkPad T490? First and foremost, that gorgeous display is breathtaking. It's the same display you get with the ThinkPad X1 Carbon. It's the HDR Dolby Vision display. And believe me, it's worth every penny to upgrade to that display. Now you can get a lower end display for less money, but to me, it is definitely worth that upgrade. Definitely do it if you can. Now, as far as performance, obviously it's very good with that Whiskey Lake processor, the Core i5-8565U. You could also get it with that V-Pro processor for a little bit more horsepower. Now, as far as as everything else on this laptop it all looks great great durable design with that military standard grade design of course that is designed to take a beating it is a great alternative for those business people those students that are looking for an alternative to the thinkpad x1 carbon don't want to spend as much but want that awesome gorgeous hdr dolby vision display again i want to know what you think let me know in the comment section below so please hit the like button please subscribe please share this video don't forget to leave a comment in that comment section below let me know how i'm doing let me know if there's a device or something out there you think i should review i'll do my best to try to make that happen don't forget to check me out on facebook on twitter instagram and of course my website amdtechreviews.com so until next time this is andrew from amd tech see ya